So for people that used to get confused about all these wallets, the Dex wallet, so this is it. Now if you check my own wallet here, so if I click on receive, let me choose any coin. Now if you notice this address, it ended with the uh, 4 DFC. I think you can see very well. So it ended with 4 DFC. Now if I go to my BitGet wallet, this is my BitGet wallet. See under my assets here. This thing also go, goes with 4 DFC. That's uh, the first wallet is OKS and the second one is BitGet. So that's it. Now, if you check um, these phantom wallets as well, check these phantom wallets. This one also had with 4 DFC. That means I'm still using the same wallet in every DEX wallet that I'm using. So the only difference uh, between this wallet is just the function. They are all the same, which means if anything happens to OKS wallet today, you can just take your fast phrase and import it directly into your BitGets or any other wallet. That is called custodial wallet because it is decentralized, which means no one can go away with your money as far as you ask for your first phrase. Let us assume OKS, stop, uh, OKS wallet stop working today. You, can, you don't have to panic. Just copy your first phrase, import it to another wallet straight. All your phone will be what will be inside your wallet without any uh, without any panic. So that's the difference between all this wallet. They are still the same. All wallets are the same, but the difference is just the function. Let us assume our OKS have one function than BizGet wallet. So that's just the difference between all those wallets. But all wallets are what all wallets are still the same. You don't have to get confused. Maybe Trust Wallet, MetaMask, OKS, or blah blah blah. So they are still the same. The only difference is the function. Now, for Phantom, if you check Phantom, for you to get it very clear, uh, if you notice Phantom, so you notice that Phantom have uh, many coins inside this. They have Solana, they have Ethereum, uh, everything like that, including Ton. So, but if you check OKS Wallet and uh, Metamask, as for example, Metamask does not have anything, uh, does not have like Ton coin, uh, Solana, because all those coins are not EVM compatible. MetaMask is only using EVM compatible uh, address. So which means you cannot see any other you cannot see any other coin that is not using EVM in MetaMask. So and that EVM, what is called EVM? EVM is the uh, same address like let's assume uh, I ask you to send me your Binance address and you send me your Ethereum address. I still the same. We get the coin. The only thing you have to do is you have to just switch, you have to switch your uh, network from that uh, Ethereum to Binance and you'll be able to get your coin as EVM. But if you check Solana and all those uh, EVM wallets used to start with OX, blah, blah, blah. So anytime you see OX, blah, 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 blah. So that means it is EVM compatible. Ethereum, Binance, Core, and other. Uh, and other any any other coin that is using OX and so on, so they are EVM. But anything aside from that that is not using EVM, if you check this Solana here, Solana started with BMC. Uh, why this Ethereum is OX? Polygon is also OX. Why Bitcoin is BC1? So as you can see the difference, this Ethereum and Polygon they are the same because they are using EVM address. But Solana is not using EVM address, so Solana is different. Now let's assume I, uh, I asked you to send me your uh, to send me your Solana address and you send me your Ethereum address, so you can lose that coin because it is not they are not compatible. But let's assume I asked you to send me your Polygon address and you send me your Ethereum address, you will still be able to get your coin. The only thing you have to do is you switch your network so that you'll be able to see the coin that I sent to you. So that's it about EVM and the difference between Dex uh, wallets. Hope you guys understand now.